This is every NBA star's most humiliating moment. And in number 20, we got Steph Curry making the most embarrassing play of his entire career. Here's Curry off the steal. And oh, look out, Curry slipped. And now shoots for three. Look at Curry, man. So inspirational. But number 19, on the other hand, is a disgrace. Because Lonzo Ball's most humiliating moment was so bad, it got him traded. Does not go back in again. Lead pass, Lonzo's got it. What a dish. Oh, he blows the layup. After a great feed from LeBron, Lonzo with an absolute gimme. Couldn't finish it. Embarrassing. But imagine the shame of getting dropped and scored on. Cause that's what happened in number 18, Chris Paul's most humiliating moment. Jesus, Steph had that man playing Twister. But we gotta pass the mic to Giannis now. Cause it's the joke that he tells in number 17 that created his most humiliating moment. So listen, listen, this is a good one too. <laughs> Uh, what's Trey's song, new song called? You guys know? No? Banana! Uh, what? <laughs> Let's just move on, man. Now, for number 16, pay close attention to Luca here, because he suffered his most humiliating moment and didn't even see it coming. For the play. Damn, I feel kind of bad for Luca, but I feel even worse for Zion. Cause in number 15, this dude was caught simping in 4K by some thought. Hi, handsome. Hello, beautiful. Hi. Why are you so handsome? Why are you so beautiful? I'm not. Oh my god, stop. I almost hung up. You stop saying that, you're beautiful. Stop. No, Zion, you stop. Now, getting caught simping is pretty cringe. But in number 14, Kevin Durant was caught doing something even worse. The All-Star break with the Sonics averaging almost, he's averaging 19 a game his first year in the NBA, player of the year in college basketball last year. Kevin, are you eating boogies? Oh, come on. But anyways, what about a player like Jordan? I mean, uh, what does the GOAT's most humiliating moment even look like? Well, we got it at number 13. Tonight, Byron Scott is out. Byron has trouble. Here comes Michael. Oh, oh, oh. Mark it down. And they're standing. Damn, that's sad. But at least MJ tried. Because in number 12, there's no way Russell Westbrook was trying. I mean, the man literally showed up to an NBA game drunk. Here's the shooting story. And a wide gap. That won't appear on Westbrook's personal highlight film, I can guarantee you that. <sighs> Russ, what are you doing? Now, for number 11, we got to talk about Dwayne Wade. Because after the final game of his NBA career, he wanted to do his signature table jump one last time. But instead, he suffered his most humiliating moment. I'm on, I only can do it the only way I know how, y'all. <laughs> wow, what a humiliating end to a legendary career. But anyways, we're entering the top 10 of our list, so it's about to get really humiliating. It was Kyrie Irving's first game in Brooklyn. He dropped 50 points and the Nets were still down one. Going into the final seconds of overtime, all Kyrie had to do was score one final shot when this happened. Six seconds left in overtime, the Nets down by one. Irving lost his footing, regathers, fire! Timberwolves win it! Damn, 
it's all right, Kyrie. At least you walked away with 50 points. Cause in number nine, the only thing Joel Embiid walked away with was his face on a t-shirt. See, during the 2021 playoffs, Joel suffered the most humiliating poster of his entire career. Flops. Oh, Collins with one hand on top of Embiid. Man, John Collins it destroyed Embiid. And just three days later, Joel and the 76ers were eliminated from the playoffs entirely. Now, all that sounds pretty bad, but what makes this Joel's most humiliating moment was that he was forced to watch Collins pull up to an interview, flexing a shirt of the dunk. Now that's cold, but at least Embiid didn't get bodied by a dude that's literally half his size, because that's exactly what happened in number eight, Shaq's most humiliating moment. Shaq, how the hell are you gonna let a four foot man G check you like that, dog? It's gotta be painful. But James Harden's most humiliating moment hurt like a bitch. About the contact, Harden just lost Ooh. the man. Oh, and then put it into his own chin. Classic. Now for number six, we got something special. It was a 2020 game between the Hawks and Celtics. 108 to 106. Eight seconds left in the fourth. Trey Young gets the ball with a chance to win the game when he suffers the most humiliating moment of his career. Trey on the sideline with Tice on him, rocks it back. Good and good 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 Tice. Smart walks over Trey Young with a dribble. Oh my goodness, I can't believe he did that. I cannot believe Marcus Smart did that in the closing second of the game. This man Trey just got blocked, stepped on, and lost the game. That's tough. But at least Trey just sent it. I mean, imagine being afraid to take a wide open shot in the biggest game of the season. Cause that's exactly what happened to Ben Simmons in number five, his most humiliating moment. Simmons, they cleared out for him. Back his way in. Spins on Gallinari. He gives it up. Oh, he was right there. Boy, Simmons. Uncontested had a layup, but, well, but that's when you know that the game is in your head. That's a oh, dunk for man. Ben Simmons right there. You gotta. This play was so humiliating for Ben, he doesn't even want to be seen in Philly again. And yet, it still can't compare to number four. The time LeBron's hair just fell out mid game. For both teams, the Lakers starting forwards have outscored the Jazz starting forwards 51 to 7. Bron, well, what the hell's going on with your head, huh? Well, after this clip went viral, we found out exactly what caused LeBron's hair to just fall out. It turns out that LeBron didn't drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah. But anyways, we're entering the top three, so we're taking the humiliation to a whole new level. Back in 2018, LaMelo Ball was playing a game in Lithuania for his dad's JBA league when early in the third quarter, he got into a fight with another player and got thrown out of the game. Now, the ejection itself was bad enough, but to make matters worse, in the locker room after the game, LaMelo suffered the most humiliating moment of his entire life. You're a selfish mother You get tapped in the head, I told your ass, we cannot respond like that you of all people but you let me down you 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 my brand you my game we don't win because your ass let's go what you want to do son i told your ass i said you getting on my bad last nerve because you're doing the wrong over and over and over i thought you had my back you don't care about nobody on the team. You don't care about winning. You care about yourself. And I'm supposed to be calm. But I tell you what, I blame this, this, this loss right here, not on none of y'all. It's all y'all young and do your thing. I blame it on that raggedy right there. You changed the whole, the whole trip. Now. Damn, watching that give me flashbacks to my childhood. I feel humiliated for LaMelo, but not as much as our boy J.R. Smith. 
Cause uh, this dude's most humiliating moment was the biggest mistake in NBA Finals history. And we got it in number two. Hill misses, rebound goes to the Cavs. J.R. Smith brings it back out, throws it to Hill. Hill shot blocked. And we'll go to overtime. You know, I didn't think anyone could have a more humiliating moment than this. But then I remembered there's one more player who's been getting humiliated his entire life. Sir Charles Barkley. Yeah, I mean, he spent 15 years trying to win a championship, but failed. He's made fun of by Shaq 24-7 and is constantly embarrassing himself on inside the NBA. But you know, I don't think it's his fault. Charles is just special. I got two words for you. Steve Nash and Chris Paul, must see TV. That's more than two words. You didn't say two words, you said quick to the point. You just said I got two words. <laughs> Steve Nash and Chris Paul, must see TV. That's why TV. I messed up, because I was trying to think of two words. I could have said that. that. that okay, two words. Nash and Paul. That's three words. That's three words. <laughs> Man, I don't know about that one, Charles, all right? But I got two words for you. Click this video right here. These are NBA rookies first NBA legends. This is like the most iconic video ever. What are you doing, dog? Click it.